This aquarium right here was set up and scaped with the fish in mind. I knew we were going to do Oscars in this aquarium, so nice open space for these guys to swim around rounded rocks so they don't get injured on. A coarser gravel so they can't spit sand into the filtration, which they do. A centered scape so they can swim all around it. The tank below it, Lake Tangiika modeled after what you might see in Lake Tangiika. Large, jagged rocks, fine sand, all keeping in mind that this was going to one day house Frontoza as well as Shell Dwellers. My Brackish Water Aquarium, something unique, yet something with the fish in mind. Lots of open swimming space. They could swim all throughout these branches and wood. Absolutely beautiful. My Piranha Aquarium, Again, set up with the fish in mind. Two ends kind of scape, lots of rocks, hiding places, plants, but the open, the center, nice and open, and that's where they're gonna spend most of their time. Absolutely beautiful and stunning aquarium. And what I'm trying to get at is every aquarium out here is set up with the fish in mind, except one. You see, when it came to this 180 gallon aquarium, I just wanted to see if this big piece of wood <laughs> would fit in it. Uh, and you guys will remember it. Technically, it's from the 2000 originally. It was six feet long, but I did cut it down to four feet or five feet, something like that, four and a half feet. And I didn't know if I could fit it in between the tanks or in between the braces, but turned out I could. Incredibly heavy, but it wouldn't stand up. So I took another piece of Malaysian bogwood, which is the, what all of this is, and propped it up under there. You can't really tell that it's a separate piece, especially once we put in some sand and whatnot. And then I thought this place was uh, a little shallow and uh, needed something else back there and just to add some more dynamic to it, more hiding places, more visual breaks, that uh, lump of wood back there as well. But as you can tell, it looks like a huge piece of wood, but technically we're not really taking up a tremendous amount of swimming space. The fish can get in and around it, no problem. The real problem is, I don't have any idea what fish should go in here. Literally for the first time in my hobby's history, I'm just setting up a tank with no idea what I wanna put in it. I just really like the way this looks and I wanna just keep going with the feeling that, you know, what can the wood fit in there? What's that gonna look like? I wonder what the best substrate would be. And I think like a fine brown sand. I think you guys would agree with that. Yeah, you see what I mean? We just had to keep going with this. We had to capitalize on that piece of wood and just see what it was going to look like. And now that we've added in that sand, I mean, what's next? I do, do I add in some rocks? Should we only add a bit around the corners maybe? Ugh, and what fish? This is exciting, this is fun. I just start with a piece of wood and see what happens. This is going to be an interesting aquarium once it's done. More so because I have no clue what's actually gonna be going in it. Let's try, let's try a few rocks. I think a rounded river stone would look good in here. I think the big ones, I, th I think, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just try a few things and see what looks good. I love the overhang of this rock. I'm also gonna put some plants in here, I think. Yeah, something simple. Something very, very simple like this. And you know, maybe you get the idea of it, like kind of chasing it around. Something like that. A few rocks there. I think I'm only gonna do two rock piles. I think it's either gonna be here or on the other end. If I do want right here, it kind of, no, I know what I'm gonna do. So while this tank is filling, I'm gonna take some of this moss that I have, the spiky moss, and uh, I'm gonna try gluing it well, I'm not gonna try, it's gonna happen, to some of the wood. See if it does well in this tank or not. Kinda tear it apart. Probably something like this, like thumb width, I guess. Make sure it's dried off. You don't need a lot of this stuff either. You can just like rip it up into pieces. Then of course I just use like a super glue gel. For example, let's take some of this glue, put a little bit here, won't need much, and stick the plants to it. That's it. You guys have seen me do this before, where the moss 
will eventually grow and cover the whole thing. This is a different type of moss though. And uh, it's not necessarily gonna cover all, all the whole wood, but it will definitely spread quite simply and easily. Kind of racing against time too, because I decided I'd fill this tank up <laughs> at the same time I'm adding the plant. So go figure, it's of course something I would do. Look how much we got with just that little amount so far. Like this thing's almost filled. The spiky moss, technically, growing out a bit more bushier, spreading all over the rock, and it may be in six months completely covering it. I feel like having anything on the ground is only going to take away from it. I think, I think so. But I do think that this is going to need floating plants. I'd love to put some floating plants up here. Uh, and we do have them. And since I'm running a canister on this, there's no uh, fear of an overflow. I was gonna use those plants on a, one of the other 180s, but I forgot, oh yeah, all those have overflows. So just gonna get sucked down it. So uh, we'll just go with, uh, I think I'm just gonna toss them in this tank. Yeah, I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm st I still don't know what would go well in this tank, um, but I'm sure it's just screaming some sort of a fish to you. And I wanna know in the comment section below. I'm legitimately not even going to decide on what fish I want until I hear back from you guys, so I can uh, get inspired. I just really love this piece of wood. My wood is huge. I love it. I had to go out back of the shed to, to, to grab it again, but. One week later, and we have a tank with a real big piece of wood and a lot of tannins in it. No signs that the plants are dying just yet. Uh, and the floating plants are of course still in there. We just ran one of these canister filters on there for the time being. Oh, and my apologies for not bringing you guys out back of the shed to show you my wood like I typically do every year, just to show you guys what I'm working with uh, for future aquariums and whatnot. But I think you guys knew this piece of wood. I just had to use it. The problem is, is that I'm not in love with this aquarium. Not yet, and that's why I'm reaching out to you guys for help. To, what do you think we could stock this with? Or should I just start this tank over again? Um, it's definitely very unique from the others, but you know, I'm in love with these tanks here. And that's the theme of the gallery right now is like, I'm doing tanks that I'm only absolutely in love with. This one's taking a little bit longer to grow on me. So I definitely want to get your guys' thoughts. Do we give this a little longer? Do we allow the, the moss to kind of grow in, uh, the floating plants to kind of cover the top? What would we do for fish? That's the biggest one. Um, maybe some cranicula, uh, maybe, uh, shoot, I don't know. I've got so many different thoughts and ideas and, I, and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and whatnot. Uh, so leave me some suggestions and uh, potentially we'll even vote on it. But uh, I definitely want to see what you guys have to say. And on that topic of voting and getting in more deeply involved, uh, just a side story, I, I let the members of the channel, um, where you click that join button right below this video, you can become a member. Um, I let them all come up with names that they wanted to call themselves, and then we took the top five and let them vote. Uh, so just a heads up, you're forewarned, if you decide to join this channel, uh, you're going to be part of the OnlyFans. Yeah, I, I just had to tell you guys that. I find it funny, and uh, I love that you guys have my sense of humor, uh, and, and uh, you, you know, not everything has to be absolutely serious and professional, and the hobby needs to be fun. The hobby needs to, um, at times, be funny and be surrounded by pe like-minded people that have the same interests as you. So I'm very grateful to have a viewership like you guys, and, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, more so, I hope that you have ideas on something I can put in it. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, let me know if we should scrap this, start over. I mean, I'm, I'm just repeating myself at this time. I'm so unsure about this tank. I really like it, but I don't know if I love it. <sighs> let me know.